decided I did not want to create the impression that, that uh, or a basis to create an impression that a gay judge could not sit on a case and decide issues that, at least in a general fashion, affect gay and lesbian people the same way that any other judge. Retired Chief Judge of the Northern District of California, Vaughn Walker, was the keynote speaker at today's annual district conference. Judge Walker spent more than 21 years on the bench, presiding over about 8,000 cases. But he's best known for presiding over the decisive Perry versus Schwarzenegger case in 2010. The action challenged California's ballot initiative, Proposition 8, which amended the state's constitution to define marriage as a union between a man and a woman, precluding the state from recognizing marriages between same-sex couples. Judge Walker found that Prop A failed to advance any rational basis in singling out gay men and women for denial of a marriage license. He also found that it prevented California from fulfilling its constitutional obligation to provide marriages on an equal basis. This one attracted an intensity of public attention that was of an altogether different dimension. Plus, of course, it is a social issue or touches upon a social issue that uh, is of widespread interest. Judge Walker says he treated the case no different than how he handled his other cases. I thought my job was to allow the lawyers and the parties to present their positions, to present their evidence, to make their arguments, and then to get a decision based upon those presentations uh, in the same way that they would in any other case. That, I thought, was my job, and that's what I tried to do. The U.S. Supreme Court ultimately upheld Judge Walker's opinion and ruled that Prop A proponents did not have standing to appeal his ruling. The discussion during today's district conference prompted former Senator Attorney Howard Trapp to reiterate his position that same-sex marriages are currently legal on Guam. He explained that a provision was included in the law when he was in the 14th legislature that provides that equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged on account of sex. If two men or two women would go and apply for a marriage license now, fill out all the applications, get turned down, go to court for a little mandate, I truly believe that we have a same-sex marriage in Guam. Meanwhile, the impacts of sequestration on the District Court of Guam over the last year have been cause for concern, as was brought up during several speeches today. Chief Judge Francis Tedinko Gatewood says she and 86 other chief judges from around the nation have penned a letter to Congress expressing concerns about the cuts, calling them unconstitutional. The fact that there's going to be less monies uh, to go and protect one's constitutional rights, and especially in criminal cases, just doesn't work. In civil cases, if we have to close the court down and there are no civil jury trials, and uh, the access to justice will be really, really limited. Reporting from Tumon for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan.